what's going on YouTube. Today we are going to be showing you how to animate your loop grids and or any grid in Elementor using a really simple plugin that I've developed. What you need to do to get the plugin is simply head over to the description, click the blog post for this associated video, enter your name and email, and then that plugin is for free in your email inbox. Let's jump over to the computer and give you an example on what this animation looks like. This is what animating a loop grid looks like. It's really, really simple. Um, as we scroll down, they animate in, in order with a delay. Um, it looks really, really cool. It looks really, really clean. Uh, they keep coming in. Um, they also animate out, so you can have them animate in every time you go back down. And here is an example of animating just a simple grid. So these aren't loop grids, it's just a simple grid. Um, you can also have it a simple setting just so that it only animates in once if you don't want it to animate in every time. You can add this to any grid element, it's really, really simple. So let's hop over into Elementor and see exactly how this is built. So now that we are over in Elementor, this is really how simple animating an Elementor or building this and animating a grid is. So let's just scroll all the way down. I have a bunch of tutorial examples on this page. Um, you'll see that it doesn't work in the Elementor editor, so it only works on the front end. Um, but how you're gonna do it, let's just say you want to do a loop grid first. I wanna make this really uh, messy. What we're gonna do is go ahead and add a loop grid. I'm gonna choose posts, theme loop style, add that there. We don't want this to be post. I'm gonna have this be, make this a different query, post types. Um, so we have some separate information. So now we have that same grid that is here above. If I go into preview really quick, you're gonna see that this second grid actually doesn't animate. So we'll scroll down here. Boom, we have the animation in. We have the grid animating, but as you can see, these are static. So how do we get that simple animation? So once that plugin is installed, and simply all you need to do to install that plugin is head over to your WordPress dashboard, simply click plugins, click add new plugin, and then upload plugin and choose that zip file and unzip or choose that zip file and you will now have the code. All it is is some really simple JavaScript. Heading back over onto the page, how do we get this loop grid to animate? What you're gonna wanna do first is go over and give it a class of LG animation. And then you're gonna wanna go over to the attributes area. So I already have a bunch of attributes that I use. So I'm actually just gonna grab those, but uh, I will explain the attributes to you. Uh, you can reference these attributes in the blog post in the description as well, which is the same spot where you can get the plugin. This just tells it what we are animating. You actually technically probably don't need that. This is the animation type. You can simply head over to the website in the uh, blog post, and these are just give you the animation types that you can choose from. So there's a whole bunch of them. I'm not gonna scroll through this whole website, but this is the JavaScript library used to create the animation and or the plugin. Then you set this to delay. So the delay is gonna be how long it takes to animate in the next one. So for example, um, this one will animate and then there's delay 600 milliseconds, which is 0.6 seconds to this next animation and so on. And it keeps going on. Offset, I believe is how long it takes to start. And then the duration is how long the whole animation takes. So I generally like to stick to multiples of three. Um, then you have the animate once. So if you if you want this to animate in once and then stay on the screen, set this to true or set it to false if you want it to animate ever. When it every time it enters the viewport width, and then we can, can disable or enable this animation on mobile. I have this set to true, so it is disabled on mobile. You can also set it to false um, so that it does animate on mobile. So if we go ahead and preview this, this is what this animation looks like. This is the old one that we made. There is the grid, and now here is the um, loop grid that we built. So how do we go about animating uh, a regular grid? Now this one's a little bit different only because, let's add a grid in here. Now let's make this uh, SVG, oops, 
an icon box. So we'll make this a simple icon box. Let's choose from our icon library. Let's give this some quick styling. Sweet. So now we have our icons built. Now I'm adding this stuff to the grid here. I'm just doing some quick styling. Now there is one key thing. Let's just add some differentiators, maybe change these icons really quick so we can differentiate. So now we have this grid down here. Um, now, how do we add the animations? Now, this is going to be a little bit different than our loop grids just because we initially built this um, plugin around loop grids. What you need to do is actually give each item within your grid the same class. So that class is what you're going to be choosing. Um, that the plugin is going to choose inside the grid that it knows to animate. So you're basically adding a selector to it. So you could name this animate icon. I'm going to just go through. Um, usually I do this once and then start duplicating since I already made this grid. We're doing it now here. So these three have the class of animate icon. And what you're going to go, go to is the parent grid and then give it and cut, go into the description or the post, uh, the blog post in the description and copy and paste some of the attributes. And copy and paste these attributes into uh, the attribute section of the parent grid. Um, it's gonna be exactly the same as a loop grid, except there's gonna be additional item called data-lg uh, animation um, dash item dash class. And you're just gonna put in that in that attribute the class that you put on every single element within the grid. So we have animate icon on here. So let's go double check, animate icon, animate icon, and I have animate grid on this. So let's note this thing has the wrong class, this last one. Let's go over to preview and see what this animation looks like. Scroll down fifth, we have six section. Here is the one that we did before, the loop grid. And then as you see those first two ones animated, but not this last one because we don't have the correct class on it. So once you add this correct class, this will animate the whole grid. And that is how you animate grids, loop grids in Elementor. It's super simple. It's just a simple JavaScript library added onto your website. Very lightweight. It adds a lot of class to your website. I highly recommend enabling something like this. Um, it is responsive, so if you make something just two, uh, it will animate in those two as opposed to three. Um, see, it still animates those in one by one. So um, it's a responsive plugin. Um, I, I highly recommend it. It just adds that little bit of class and small animations and small interactions and things like this really elevate your websites and make them stand out above others you can use this for products in woocommerce you can use this for blog posts you can move, use this for um grids like this where you're displaying information with svg icons you can use it for nearly everything um i highly highly recommend using something like this and thanks for tuning in to this tutorial getting this plugin really really helps i really appreciate anyone that watches this uh, if you're looking for any Elementor hosting or hosting for any type of WordPress or any website, I highly recommend SiteGround. We are not sponsored by them. Uh, we're just simply an affiliate, so head over to that link that helps us um, as well. And stick around for some more cool Elementor and WordPress tutorials coming out.